Oh, I promise you this is not clickbait. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Geared Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, it's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And before we get into today's video, remember to enter the $100 Amazon New Way gift card giveaway going on the channel. It's down in the description, so if you haven't entered it already, you can do so. The winner will be drafted on the 20th, and I'm going to be announcing the winner on Instagram and Twitter. So, the premise behind this video, it's kind of coming from multiple different angles. So let me say this very clearly. I'm a PC gamer, a PC enthusiast, PC elitist, whatever you want to say. There are certain titles that just just like you, I will play on consoles either because they are title exclusives as much as I hate that or because there are certain games that actually play better with a controller. But for the most part, the keyboard mouse configuration is far superior to any Thing that has come up against it, with phone gaming being way down the list in terms of your actual input device to be able to play games. Now here's the thing, I know a lot of you guys who watch my channel have said that you can't even afford you know, a basic console, much less a computer, which is totally understandable. I mean, I think a lot of people take for granted. I mean, I work very, very hard for all my stuff, but you know, there are a lot of people who don't have the opportunity to make the money to get the hardware in the first place, and all they've got is their phone. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to find a way to use a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor with your phone because that to me dictates what it essentially is the PC gaming experience. Now, phones are already kind of their own little computers. I mean, they're actually getting way more powerful, which is why now it's possible to even do something like this. But getting a keyboard and mouse to work is no easy task. There are products out there that you can buy that will wirelessly or Bluetooth uh, sync up, but in my opinion, I've tried them out and not, I haven't found one that's really good. I wanted to be able to use a wired keyboard and mouse used for gaming and so I started looking around for a product that might actually help me and lo and behold leave it to the Chinese to come up with a solution. So the product I was able to find that actually serviced this is the New Wing Next Gaming Adapter. So what this thing does is essentially allows you to stick in a keyboard and mouse with USB and then connect it to your phone and then play games like PUBG or Fortnite that are now available on the phone and it's actually plug and play. Now there is one app that you have to download that actually is only usable with the adapter, it's the UU Box app. But the problem is that if you're in the United States like I am, you can't actually download it directly through Google, you can't really search it. However, you can use the Asian um, search engine Baidu and then going through that, you can simply look up UU Box and there it is. The first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to download Google Translator. The reason for this is that the app is Chinese and if you're anything like me where you don't read Chinese, you're gonna need a way to translate it. So what this app allows you to do is actually take screenshots of the screen and you can select either all the script that's included or just specific lines and it will basically translate it to English. It's incredibly useful and this is essentially how I figured out how to set this up. Now in our doing our initial test run to make sure this worked, the first thing you need to do is plug in your keyboard to the left side adapter that is marked for the keyboard. On the right hand side, the adapter for the mouse is the one closest to you if you're facing the front of the adapter. Now plugging this in and getting the power to work is a little difficult because it does come in with an included cord. However, this cord actually needs to be used to connect your phone, depending on what you have, mine is the Pixel XL2, to the actual adapter itself. And the Chinese model uses a five volt connecting cord, not a 4.5, which is US standard. So you may have to end, uh, get either find a secondary one or purchase one for a couple of bucks. Now, in terms of actually getting this thing to work, it's extremely straightforward. Once you plug it in and you run the app, you simply boot up the game that you want to play. And then once the game is booted up, you can actually click on the app itself to mess with any of the menu or customization settings you can. What's so scary about this, and you can actually see from the footage, is how well it works. In a game like PUBG, where reaction times and pinpoint accuracy makes the difference in kills, it literally feels like you're playing on a computer. If you've actually played this game on a PC, all the key mappings are exactly the same as they would be in the game. Now, unfortunately, the adapter isn't perfect. For example, I couldn't go prone, and there are also certain glitches sometimes, like when you're driving, it won't recognize that you're moving forward or back. This is a small price to pay, though, because when you actually are testing this thing out, being able to do things like go through doors, loot are extremely, extremely quick, and it gives you that feeling of playing on a computer. Now, the other thing to note is that if you hit the middle mouse button, it actually allows you to move the mouse and use it just like a computer and actually click on the options, which is very, very useful. And then movement, 
and articulation is obviously completely on point with little to no input lag as this test shows. Now, while that was incredibly cool, I know a lot of you are like, but Andrew, I'm Andrew. I thought you said we were gonna do this with a monitor because we're turning our phone into a gaming PC. Well, right you are. Now, the problem is my Pixel XL2 doesn't actually support the output that I wanted to use. I actually bought this adapter to use for it and I found out only later that the Pixel XL2 doesn't support these type of adapters, but you can use this instead of the route which I went, which is Chromecast. So Google has a product called Chromecast where you can essentially mirror your device to whatever you're plugged into using the display port. So I actually found one locally used for $17, even though it was the uh, basically it's the newest model, I believe their version three, and setting up was very, very easy. So after downloading the Google Chromecast app on my phone, I simply plugged it into the back of the monitor and the display port, plugged it into a power supply, and then what you're able to do is actually mirror the image from your phone directly to the monitor. In doing this method, what we're able to get is a really a complete PC gaming experience because we were able to play this game from our phone with a keyboard and mouse on our monitor. Now using Chromecast, the first thing that I noticed is directly is that there was a definite resolution loss, which is unfortunate, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't playable. In fact, having the extra screen real estate gave me a severe advantage, but it also made me feel just like I was playing on a regular PC because I was able to see so much better because obviously I have so much more real estate. So all in all, what this does is it gives you that sense of playing on a computer with a keyboard and mouse. Now the other game I tested is Fortnite, and unfortunately the experience wasn't as good. Um, the biggest thing was because the key mapping didn't map 100%, even though I had way better articulation and I can move, it was actually getting severe delays and lag in terms of the actual, uh, basically the signal being sent from the phone. On top of that, the build menu didn't pull up correctly. So again, it's not a perfect solution, but if you want to feel like what it feels like to play with your phone as a PC gamer would, this is definitely a solution that can work. And if I think if I had a better adapter instead of using Chromecast, then the delay would have been minimized or non-existent. I hope you enjoyed this video. All in all, you can basically get that adapter for like 25 bucks. Like I said, you can get the um, secondary adapter to connect it to your monitor, depending on what you do to 20 to $15. And then you can literally find a keyboard and mouse or just be given one by your mom or your dad. Just an old one would work just fine. And then if you don't have a monitor or you can't afford one, you can actually use a dis uh, TV as long as it has that display port connection or the connection that you're using from your phone. So you can literally do this entire project for under 50 bucks and get the experience of what it feels like to play on a phone but using it just like a computer especially because I advocate for all of you to start saving up so you can actually buy a computer and join the PC master race so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video it was a ton of fun to make as always thanks to my patrons and twitch subscribers for whom my channel would not be possible without and so if you want to support me directly consider becoming a patreon or uh, subscribing to me on Twitch because all that money goes into these projects. I don't take a dime of it, so I can't tell you how much that uh, means to me. If you wanna buy any of these products, I will have them listed, and then the ones where uh, my affiliate link can support me, I will have those listed down below as well. But if you wanna support me in general when buying computer parts, feel free to use my Amazon or New e uh, Newegg link, link down below. All that money goes back into the channel as well. As always, guys, I'm gonna make these videos whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do, and I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Geared Inc.